Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Dragon Age Inquisition. So, we've met up with Stroud, Hawk's Warden ally, and something is definitely wrong with all the Grey Wardens. They seem to all be hearing the calling, summoning them to their deaths in the deep roads against the Blight. That's not Let's good, because go. if all the Wardens go off and die, then there's no one to fight the next Blight. So, yeah. We think that's Corypheus, and we actually have to go somewhere else to sort that out. But uh, for the time being, before we do that, I'm actually going to do a few of the quests here. So we do have um, some undead to help out with the Crestwood area, and I think we can probably afford to do that now. So we're going to be heading down, let's see... Yeah, we need to get to the fortress over there. We've got another cave, we've got a rift here. Oh, we got to find Judith, the naturalist, living out in the woods. And there's another rift down that way. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff for us to do. So we might as well start heading down in this direction, I think. Um, I don't know if Hawk's actually staying with us. What, what are you doing, Hawk? Let's go. Oh, okay. Are you going to follow me? Let's see. Let's go further away. Jesus Christ, lightning. Is... No, okay. Hawk's going to stay up there with Stroud. That's fine. He would have just got it in the way. Um, oh, are those wolves? Someone did mention wolves. Yeah, black wolves. Okay. I guess I'm killing wolves. Right. Guys, where are you? You're behind me. Perfect. Could we... As usual... Set everyone on fire. As usual, you are just that little bit out of range. My friend. That'll do. Right. Fireball, explosion, running up and eating stuff. Jesus, that was actually pretty good. Okay, I think we're good. And we should get some canine leather. I was hoping for wolf hides, but I'll take canine leather, I guess. Not that I really get a choice there. Okay, there's the rift. We did see this earlier. Oh, more obsidian. I want that. Thank you. Okay. Now, we don't know what level rift this rift is going to be, but it is summoning you guys. And I do have my new rift ability, Mark of the Rift, so... If I can kill a bunch of these guys, we'll actually level this up. Level 8 shade, level 11 corpse. Yeah, this should be pretty damn easy. Let's get in closer. So they're all aggro to us, which is fine. Come at me, bros. Dorian, you're, um, Dorian actually, you're a bit close. Oh well. Um, set that guy on fire. And also... Give me a full draw on that guy. Cassandra, I'm going to need you to deal with this one. Because, unfortunately for Dorian, I'm not staying around here. I want that one. Oh. Damn it, I thought that would have killed him, actually. Oh, no, it almost did. Okay, Rift is... down. I took a tiny bit of damage, which should be good. What the hell is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, an arcane horror. Okay, you're not what I was expecting to see here. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a long shot on you, and I'd also... Uh, yeah, you've used up all your power, haven't you? Cassandra, your charging bull on the corpse archers. Yeah, I'm going to let you finish that. But then I'd like you to do something else for me. Oh, no, I think the arcane horror is already dead. Oh, well, in that case, don't worry about it. Maybe you're just not as bad as I thought you were. I thought arcane horrors would be tough. Talitazi lure spirits to possess every corpse buried there. And then what? Let them wander around willy-nilly? 
Only in the abandoned areas. The rest are sealed up in their tombs, I suppose. Well, I almost feel bad for them. After a time, the moaning grates on the nerves. Trust me. Okay, that was pretty easy. Dorian again took some heavy damage, though. I think I need to get this guy some new armor. He's not having a very fun time with this whole fighting monsters mess. Oh, we've got a wolf over there, not going to worry about you. I've actually got a whole bunch of wolves over there. Hmm. And someone behind me. That's one of the bandits, I guess. Are they fighting the Druffalo? Oh no! They're, f they're fighting the Druffalo. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, who's winning? <laughs> the Druffalo is going to kill all those wolves. I'd get involved, but I think if we just try to do it, we'd someone would AoE the uh, Druffalo and then it would be hostile to us as well. So, let's not do that. Dorian, did I... What, what, okay, Dorian, just stay with me, please. Okay, we need to go up this way. Actually, let's go to the Naturalist, shall we? Why are we suddenly doing... Why, why, guys, why? Why did you do this? Something triggered something. Discovered Linden Farm. Okay. Uh, there's a book up there. Uh, oh, and some money here. Well, we'll take the money. Again, with the corpses hanging from the ceiling. I mean, that's just weird. Okay, guys, can we disengage? I don't know what your... Uh, I don't know what sparked your ire there. But I don't really care for it. I think there's something up here. Oh, yeah, a book. Let's have a quick read, shall we? Plants versus corpses. In all the strange struggles that have ranged across raged across Ferelden, one of the most peculiar is the Battle of Pauper's Cap. A powerful demon, bent on gaining power in the mortal world, raised an army of corpses to assault the home of Helifanus. Helen Helen and Helianthus, a reclusive apostate who is said to possess both fabulous wealth and great knowledge. While the demon saw the perfect host in this bejeweled bookworm, Helianthus was not without defences of her own. As the corpses shuffled towards her house, Helianthus called to the demon, declaring that though she was just a simple apostate, the demon would see her power an entire the demon would see her power an entire infantry. Then, calling upon her magic, she summoned spirits into the plants in her vegetable patch, creating countless tiny sylvans. The resulting garden warfare saw corpses armoured with buckets and doors as makeshift helmets and shields battling possessed fruits and vegetables who spat seeds, constructed makeshift fortifications, and even chomped in current corpses whole. In the end, the area around Helianthus's garden became both garden and graveyard, home to the corpses destroyed as she defended herself and this world from the demon. Had she been defeated and her great brain turned to the demon's purposes, we might well have seen such terrible corpses rampaging through the great pyramids of Parvulan to the pirate-infested waters of Lemarin, or even into the unknown western lands. Is this my lunch? I thought we were dining on bacon today. I was informed there would be bacon. No, I shall not take the pot off my head. Why? Because I'm mad. Okay. So, if you don't get what that's about, you have never played Plants vs. Zombies. Dorian, I'm trying to get down from here. What are you doing? Wait, hang on. What was that? There was... I swear I saw... Why is there suddenly loot up here? Where did that come from? What's it the loot of? Wait, what? Why is loot randomly peering at my feet? That's a bit strange. Can I get down the ladder, please? Thank you. Jesus Christ, that lightning has it out for me, I swear. Oh, there is a sack over there. I didn't even notice that. Grouse feather charm? Sure, that sounds like a thing. Right, I think we want to go up this way, maybe. Well, let's try it. If it's the wrong way, we'll just have to double back on ourselves. And I should probably actually set this as my current quest. That would be a sensible thing to do. Oh, 
Oh, I see a house. I see a smoking chimney. I'm going to assume this is who we're looking for. I suppose I could have come up that way as well. Okay, fair enough. Right, lady, apparently you're being difficult and not staying in Crestwood where you should be. Jesus Christ, that lightning. You chose a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. What I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. What this is about a wyvern? There's a wyvern causing trouble. It used to hunt in the mountains. Didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gold's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. Okay. Okay, there's a wyvern around. So that's something. If you're Judith, there's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gould. Fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. Okay, that doesn't really explain why you're staying here, but fine. Do you farm out here? and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. And those bandits. Not to mention that dragon. You live here on purpose. Oh, you know, the fishing's grand. Uh, okay, so you talked about a wyvern, but you didn't mention a blimmin' dragon. What do you know about the dragon? She moved in a month ago. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since then, she's eaten three horses, five goats, and two cats. Huh. Okay. Until later. Be safe. I mean, wow, this area just has, like, all the problems. There's a wyvern, to start. There's the undead. There's uh, bandits that have moved in. And there's a dragon. Not to mention the wolves. That seem to be a problem. I mean, I just feel like maybe this area is a little bit cursed. And I don't even mean with the undead you know, rift that's somewhere out there in the lake. Hmm. Okay, let's play around with the Astrarium quickly. Right, what do we got to make this time? Um, well, that doesn't look too bad, he says, as he prepares to muck this up entirely on his first try. Ah, uh, no, I've done this wrong. Can't connect that. Can't go back to there. Got to start from there and work my way down. Okay. There we go. Do that, to that. Uh, to that, to that, to that, to that. Success! I made something. I have no idea what that is. What is that? That's the constellation of Salentia. Referred to as silence in the common parlance, the constellation of Salentia is historically attributed to Dumat, the old god of silence and leader of the ancient Devinta Pantheon. The depiction of the constellation, however, is often debated. Some depict a dragon in flight, while others also, the most common modern depictions show a man carrying a horn and a wand. Some scholars believe these represented scales, which would point to this constellation being a supplantation of the elven mythal, but nothing indicates this to be more than speculation. Okay, well, yeah, that gave me stuff. You're firing off your beams. I've got actually... I should probably follow one of those one day. What was that noise? Okay, so there is a wyvern around here somewhere. Um, also, I'm going to apologise for him. I'm going to stop calling it a wyvern. I'm actually going to call it a wyvern, because that's how I always pronounce it. Wyvern just sounds weird to me. Okay, does that lead us down to the fort? Oh, that leads us down to the last rift in that direction. But I want to go fight the wyvern. Yeah, I don't know why. Wyvern just doesn't sound right to me. I prefer wyvern. But I don't actually know which is the correct way, so I'm just kind of going to do my own thing. Not saying I don't care about you guys. Just, you know, I'm my own man. I'm going to do my own thing. Uh, I'm going to kill these guys. 
for a start, because they're kind of in my way. Also, one of them's hiding in a bush, which is a little bit amusing. Alright, where's... You guys are a little bit too far back again, aren't you? Sandra, get up from. Right. Move that in mind. You're going to cast. Okay, let them do their thing. There we go. Right. Now, you should have enough. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, there you are. Is that both of them, or just one of them? There they are. Okay, right. Please both catch on fire. And then, you know, explode. And then have Cassandra come and kill you. Because she's very, very good at that. Poisoned, on fire. Ooh, I just noticed that his firebolts were actually missing there. Ooh, interesting. Oh, you're another one of those rogue people. Well, now you're dead. Never noticed the shields were deflecting spells like that before. That's kind of cool. What the? Oh. Well, god damn that lightning. At least it doesn't actually damage me. Yeah, hey Druffalo. Okay, there's more guys over here. They're a bit spread out, unfortunately. But I guess I should probably just kill them for the sake of it. Uh, let's move down this way. If they're going to start bunching up, we might be able to make that work. No, they're coming straight at me. Okay. Um, well, in that case, we will try and set some of them on fire. Because of, you know... Uh, actually, Wall of Fire... There might actually be the best start. And that would give us time to do a full draw on one of those guys at the back while Cassandra goes in, and I can take out the last one myself. Planning. Yep, you're burning, and you're panicked, and the other one's knocked down already. Okay, they're both dead. That's really cool how the spells bounce off. I had never noticed that before. There we go. That was nice and quick. There's already more enemies nearby. I think it's wolves still. Uh, there are still wolves fighting that Druffalo. That fight has been going on for ages. There we go. I knew someone dropped some loot. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Dalish Toy Soldier. Well, that's going to come in handy. Uh, where am I trying to get to? Oh, wow, it's all the way up there. I thought it was the cave over here. Oh, well, let's go check out this cave. Because, you know, it's a cave and I haven't been to it yet. Then we're going to kill the Wyvern. I feel like I should help out that, but I'm just worried we're going to aggro the uh, the Druffalo, and I don't want to have to kill the Druffalo as well. So, just disengage. It's fine. I'd like to keep moving at a decent speed. You guys aren't actually fighting? No. Okay. Good. They just started hanging back, and I was worried there for a second. Right. Okay. I was just worried there's going to be a Wyvern around here, but obviously we're not actually in Wyvern area. So, what do we have? Why does that look like there should be a doorway here? not just me, right? That totally looks like it should be a door. Interesting. Well, we've got some deep mushrooms. Might as well grab those. This is actually a very spooky place. I don't like it. But we're going to go inside anyway, because we are brave. That's why we're the Inquisitor, because we're the bravest person we've ever met. We haven't met that many people, to be honest. It is kind of dark in here. I wouldn't mind a torch. Normally, this kind of place gives me torches, but apparently not this time. The other problem is I don't actually have a reason to be in here. I'm just curious about what's in this cave. Which is so far... Nothing. Okay, there's some torches going that way. What's around this way? Ooh, a red jenny cache! Oh, cool. See what you find if you look. Uh, some experience and influence, apparently. Cool. Okay, I'll take that. I knew there was a good point to my running around like a madman sometimes. Sarah slightly approves of me finding one of her caches. Okay. 
Where has this brought me out? And do I want to be going through... Oh, okay, so we loop around that way. And then... Oh, we might head down to the dam. Okay. Interesting. What do we want to do next? I mean... I do want to go find the right way, the Wyvern. Let's go find the Wyvern. Let's make that our active quest, which I think it already is. And I. There's no way around from there, so how do we get up there? Might have, yeah, might have to be up this way, so we need to find the path that kind of goes starts there. We'll come back to that cave. I think that's going to lead to the dam, though. So we don't need to do that right now. That looks like something. I don't know what. But it looks like it's going to be a thing later on. My finely honed RPG senses are telling me that's going to be a thing later on. Did that Druffalo finally kill all the wolves? Maybe. Okay, more red lyrium poking out of the ground. That's good. That's what I like to see. Signs of impending apocalypse. That lightning is really vicious and just loves coming down close to us, doesn't it? Okay, this is where we came into the area, so we haven't actually... Yeah, okay, here we go. We haven't actually been up this way before. Glen Morgan Mine. Sounds like it should be someplace in Scotland. Uh, what do we have? We should have... Ahead. Oh, shit. Ready? Tough bunch ahead, or they think they are. Which is it? I can't actually see any of them. Uh, okay, you got me a little worried for nothing, but that does, exp you know, kind of makes sense. The Guide of Fallon Din. Fallon Din sought someone to be his messenger and companion. The wind was swift, but Fallon Din refused to claim it. The people were loyal, but could not live where Fallon Din walked. Then the owl came to him and said, I am not cowed by darkness, let me serve you who also has no fear of night. Falon Din accepted gladly, and took the owl as his servant, who thereafter helped Falon Din guide the people through the passage of the Vale. Okay. Some kind of elven tale. I got very worried when they said, there's a bunch of Templar ahead, and then I realised they were lying. But at least we know why there's... Well, okay. Either the Red Templar are here because of the Red Lyrium, or the Red Lyrium is here because of the Templars. But, you know, those two are... Oh, Jesus, they're right there. Okay, hey, guys. How tough do they look? Because I just want to go up here to kill a Wyvern, to be honest. Wyvern. Damn it. Level 12, Red Templar, horror. I mean, that's not bad. And fire should work fine with them, because they only have electricity resistance. And I guess we're just going to go for this. Let's go for a full draw. And... I guess I want a wall of fire. Where the hell is Dorian? He's really far away. But we want to draw them to us, so if I put a wall of fire there... Yeah, we're going to try this. Oh, also I do have a Mark of the Rift available, so I might... Well, they're not really Rift based, are they? They're the Red Lyrian based, and that's not something I want to use yet. We hear odd stories of Templars in the Imperium, There we go. Dorian. Boom! True. I haven't even told you what I've heard. Doesn't matter. All true. Oh, but damn it. Cassandra, you fucked all that up, didn't you? I was leading towards that one, actually. Oh, there's another one. Cassandra, feel free to help out with this, by the way. No, okay, fine. Goodbye. I think Cassandra's stuck. She just seemed to have stopped helping. Normally she's very helpful in those kind of situations, but today, no. Okay, intense red lyrium. Fine, I'll take it. Guess we need to continue up that way, but this episode is starting to run a bit long, so I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Do feel free to leave a like, 
leave a comment and subscribe if you are, and hopefully I'll see you all later for the next one. Bye.